Knowledge. Ideas. Skills. Information. Play. Teamwork. Empowerment. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my hand, oh, here is my spout. We are a family with a six and a half months old Skylar. Baby girl, she was diagnosed um, with hearing loss. It was a bit of a shock to us. Um, not just a bit, actually, it was a terrible shock to us. We have a five-year-old son, Scott, who was born uh, as a very early preemie. He was only a little over a pound when he was born. Scotty, come here. So he was born with lung problems and a heart problem and brain issues with, with bleeding. And through all this, we, we found out before he left the hospital that he may have a hearing loss as well. मेरी मेरे साथ भी ऐसा होगा या ये है मैं कभी सोचा ही नहीं था दिमाग में कोई सोचता भी नहीं है कोई भी नहीं सोचेगा ऐसा मेरे साथ ऐसा हो I was confused and very upset didn't really know what the next step would be fears our fears hmm. that's really a shock to our entire family because none of them have a hearing loss so we almost broken at that moment my parents had a really hard time with it at first. My dad was really concerned that he wouldn't be able to communicate with our son. I mean, we, we were at a loss. We didn't know what to do because anything we said, she might not be able to hear. And we thought there might not be ways to teach her how to communicate. My biggest fear, and I think probably my husband's too, was the social aspect of deafness. How it I isolating it can be. At one point I sort of said, you know, we're, we're still um, not sure what's going to, you know, we, we haven't met any deaf kids. We don't, we still don't really know what the deaf world is like, what we're still sort of uncomfortable with, um, with, with having a deaf baby, with, with what that's really going to mean down the road. With Halloween. Halloween. What are these? Eyes. And what are these guys? I moved to Vancouver just before Skylar was born and I felt so isolated and so disconnected. To have a baby with a hearing loss is a, a great challenge. And then to have your baby when you just arrive in a new country, the challenge is like triple, quadruple, I mean, it, it's a lot. What will school go to normal school, like driving? Because the main thing Why has she got hearing loss? We didn't know why. We still don't know why. And, um, you know, what can we do to help her? Journey. Information. 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 Teamwork. Partnership. 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 Hi, Jasmine. It's Lori Bell from the BC Early Hearing Program. I talked with your audiologist. I'm wondering if it would be helpful for me to use an interpreter for our phone call? I see the BC Early Hearing Program as their role as helping families getting started on their path. Well, I get a chance to talk to Lori Bell from the BC Early Hearing Program, and she provided me three agencies' name. Knowing that I had the choice to make that decision um, of which is the best agencies to support our family. Choices. Knowledge. 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 Choices. When you get a new baby, it doesn't come with a user's manual or anything. You don't know all the, the details. Family and friends can help with some of that stuff. I see the interventionist as technical support 
for the hearing language acquisition portion of that. Meeting an interventionist for the first time it was a really good experience for us. She was so familiar with our son's hearing loss and what that meant to him and she was able to walk through our house and, and show us little things that might, might bother him like a, a noisy appliance. We're from Bella Coola. We come down about every month or so to get new ear molds made for his hearing aids. It's really helpful having their support because it's, it doesn't feel like it's just him getting the support, it's us and answering questions that we have to better him. The teacher, I mean, she's great. She would suggest some games that my son can also play with my daughter and sometimes she would leave uh, some suggestions that we could follow up. We had tea with the family coordinator and, and a deaf adult came too when uh, Rob was home and talked to us one night. And, and it did kind of help to, to meet some deaf people to feel okay, like there's a community out there that we can get to know. She would more brainstorm with us. Well, you know, maybe you could do something, have you tried this, you know, have you tried that? Um, just, and together we would come up with ideas. So you don't need to be worried that some government agency is coming into your home. It's it's so not like that at all. <laughs> it's very much a partnership. Um, uh, us being, you know, being the parents, nobody knows our child like we do, but nobody knows the disability like the interventionist does. People say no because they don't want to accept the fact um, that something is wrong with your baby. And I didn't want to accept it at first either. Um, I think I just need a moment. Why wouldn't you? Someone is willing to help your child communicate and help your child, uh, you know, get his ideas across to you and help your child tell you when he wants some milk. <laughs> it's tremendously frustrating for a child who can't communicate. We've dealt with that so many times. It's, it's the worst thing to see your child be upset and not be able to tell you why. As a parent, you know you need help and don't ever turn down help. Just say, this problem so, we obviously have to take any path because it's a question of our life, okay? If we sit with us and say that it's okay, what God has done, it's just okay. We don't talk about it. I know that Skylar actually needs a lot of help to stimulate her hearing nerve. I think it's very important to start uh, the early intervention program as soon as possible to um, help the baby learn how to make use of their residual hearings. Kids with a hearing loss are, are so capable, right? If they're given all the supports that they're needed, they'll do great in life. If we waited, it means that Skylar would have missed all of these opportunities to be developing her hearing nerves and maybe she would never be able to hear anything at all. assessments are very helpful because it gives you almost like a progress report of how he's doing and like his motor skills and his speech and language. The assessment also could be a guideline for me to make sure Bowen's to follow up all the steps. I find that helpful as a parent just to know what to anticipate. It's like, oh yeah, she should be doing this you know, in another month or another two months. We work together, establish some goals, and then when we see that those goals are reached, then we raise our expectation, and then there will be a second stage, and we, we just go on. Support. 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 Guidance. 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 My name is Teresa. I'm a parent guide with the Guide by Your Side program. I, uh, I have a child with a hearing loss too. I became a parent guide because I wanted to provide that feeling of community, that, that there are, there's support, that there are other people that have been through this, 
that they're happy functioning families. The practical advice always seemed to come from other parents. You know, someone would say, oh, do you, you know, do you have insurance for your, for your child's hearing aid? The nitty gritty questions like, how do you keep the hearing aids on a six month old? It's okay to put a little bit of um, tape onto the back of the hearing aid. That just mm. stays in place a little bit better. How's <laughs> that? Yeah, I know sometimes it's just a relief to talk to another parent. We, uh, we used to feel the same way when, when our son was young. I think, I think it's a little easier to open up to a parent and ask a, a difficult question, uh, even if it's to question a medical professional. I think it's sometimes much, much easier to talk to another parent. Mostly more parents के हमें हमारे घर पे फोन आते हैं वो हमें बताते हैं कि हमारे बच्चे के ये ऐसी प्रॉब्लम थी हमारे मन को थोड़ा शांति मिलती है हमें लगता है कि नहीं हमारा बच्चा भी जैसे सभी बच्चे हैं वैसा ही है Seeing children at the next step definitely gives you the you know the confidence that your child can make it too and having other parents tell us that they were terrified as well um, really really helps it was the early intervention program that actually guide us to knowing that there are many things that we need to do as parents. At one point, I remember just sort of saying to myself, I have to stop analyzing him. I can just be his mom and enjoy him. <laughs> and, and that was a real turning point for me to just say, let's just enjoy our little guy. Technology, journey, support. <laughs> Have some fun. Enjoy your babies. <laughs> <laughs>